Hi everybody, good morning. It's Dr. Palmer. I just wanted to go over the last modules for this course. We are almost done. Can you believe everything that we have gotten through with these few weeks? And y'all have all worked really, really hard and that has been very obvious. I um, wanted to just say that we are down to modules 13, 14, and 15. So again, I am in your module link and please uh, continue to be going into your module link. Canvas is still showing um, the to-do list incorrectly, so you always just want to go into your module link to your module area right here. As I've shown you all throughout the course and left several announcements about, but this is where you want to be looking at your assignments and not your to-do list. So you have modules 13, 14 and 15. So again, you have your reminders to be reading and studying the chapters and you can view the PowerPoint screencast in the module area. For example, if you click on module 13, mm, let's see here, let's get it loaded here. <laughs> My internet is running a little slow this morning. Let's see here. There we go. So module 13 is on promotion and pricing strategies and that does coincide with chapter 13. And you know as always I've given you your module outcomes, things that you should be learning by way of reading and studying your chapters and by doing this course assignments and reviewing the PowerPoint presentation as well as I have also provided some supplemental and enrichment sources, resources or sources for you. So they're already loaded for you this morning in modules 13, 14, and 15. So if you get some time, these resources here just kind of help kind of solidify some of the topics and concepts, some of the module outcomes. So it's going to help solidify that for you. So again, go back into modules scroll down as you can see I'm in student view so I'm seeing everything the course exactly as you're seeing it let's see here so you do have a discussion form here so you want to be sure that you're going into that it's about the marketing mix and the promotion mix I have a, a, a nice graphic here that kind of explains that graphically and again I'm showing the module outcomes that are associated with this form so you kind of see where it all ties together and, and why I've chose this discussion form the way I have or developed it for you. So you want to be sure that you are also looking at your rubric to see how you're going to be graded as well. So again, you need to reply to a classmate's post. Most of y'all have done really good with that throughout the course. Some of you have forgotten to do that, but most of you have done very well with that. But you can eliminate that by just kind of slowing down a little bit, taking your time more, and taking a little extra time to review the grading rubric. Just to make sure that you're getting everything in. Because that's when I go to grade it, that comes up the grading rubric that's assigned to that discussion form or assignment. That is what I use to, to grade uh, your deliverables with, what you're turning in. Okay, so then you have chapter um, 14 or module 14. You have some supplemental enrichment resources at, that are loaded there. But I'm just going to go kind of skip directly to the form. Here you're going to be interviewing again, but I am going to let you do it either by email, telephone, or you can stop by the office. And it's still an ex experiential learning assignment, which I love to throw these in here and there. It requires you to do something and kind of like in real time experience um, a topic or a concept or an activity. So you have that and then for your very last module which I know y'all are like okay we're done with this hopefully you'll get a little break I don't know if, uh, um, if you're taking other classes right now but hopefully you get a little break before the fall semester starts. 
So again, be sure and check out the, the resources there and the resources here because they're, they're in there. Um, but I want to move on to your last assignment, which is another interviewing type assignment. I've tried to also kind of blend in like career orient, not really orientation, but like kind of career topics and things like that into the course as well because the whole reason that we go to college is to gain knowledge and to gain power and to gain more opportunities for us, right? So I don't think enough of like careers, um, career goals and, and, and things like that are taught enough in college classes. And so I think it's kind of important to kind of keep our eye on that to know, okay, I'm here at college because I'm getting a degree because I want more opportunities for myself. I want to make more money. I mean, that's what it's really about, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, studying's great and learning's wonderful, right? But the whole reason that we go to college is to have better jobs, make more money, you know, all that type of stuff. So um, here, this is a, an assignment about interviewing a CPA, and format's going to be in a um, Word program such as Microsoft, for example. And then here is your grading rubric. That one just kind of comes up, right? It's like, okay. Um, I will let you know this is my first time teaching in Canvas. So the only thing that I saw that I didn't like on my end was a number one it was hard to hard to figure out if somebody had sent me an email which I had you know talked to y'all about that they're kind of weird to find and kind of hidden but I've you know I've, I've kind of have found where they're at but they're just kind of obscure and B number two I didn't like the way the to-do list was adding in like assignments they added in about two or three assignments for you that I had deleted prior to the course even starting so I didn't like that part of it but um, you know moving forward these are some things that I'm gonna be aware of um, but that's why I kept telling you telling you all just go to the module link go to the module link okay um, so you have that interview a CPA and again your grading rubric is right there and then uh, one last thing that I would like for you to do, of course, other than the final exam, um, which I did open it up a little further. I've opened it up on Thursday. Um, actually, let's just kind of click on it and see what it says. Available from August 6th um, on Thursday. Uh, not this Thursday, but the following should be the following right I always double check I'll always go to like a calendar but <laughs> the dates are here August 6th through August the 8th so be sure you take it between these dates and you'll be good it will be timed all right um, and then I do definitely, and you will be graded for this, I want to know, kind of like, just to kind of cap off the course, some information that you learned about the course, you know. What was your most important or surprising learning or takeaway or aha moment that you had in this course? Um, if you have more than one, that's great. <laughs> um, number two, how, much, how, how would you integrate the learning identified from your takeaway moments into your business practice or your even your personal life. Um, number three, which of like the readings, the websites, PowerPoint, screencasts, supplemental enrichment materials and resources that I've uploaded for you, discussion forum si assignments, um, that should say for example, in, instead of etc. Included in this course, did you find most helpful to you? And what, if anything, would you have liked to have seen or did you expect to see covered in the readings, websites, PowerPoints, for example, on the topics covered in this course that was not included? Um, so was there, was there anything that you just felt like, oh, I wish, you know, we would have done this or I wish, you know, I would have learned this. But you got to keep in mind that, you know, um, when creating assignments and discussion forums, you know, it's it's kind of impossible to hit 
every single topic and concept, you know what I mean? So I'm hoping that with everything combined, you know, you're reading and studying the chapters, you're viewing the uploaded supplemental and enrichment materials, you're viewing the screencasts, and with the discussion forums and the assignments and the exams and the quizzes, that hopefully everything was hit. But if there wasn't, um, please let me know. If anything was uh, particularly hard to follow, please identify, like if there was a form or assignment or anything that was hard to follow, please let me know. And then would you take another course with me, whether it be online or face-to-face? -face? So um, I'm looking forward to getting your end of course feedback. Also, you may have seen the announcement that the formal Miami University course evaluations are now open. And so, you know, they're going to be open until Sunday, August the 9th at 11.59 p.m. Your feedback is confidential and it's very important. I do read the evaluations word for word, and um, they are very important, you know, to the university as well. They are essentially used to decide if an instructor's contract is going to be renewed and things like that. So they are very informative for me, and they're very, very important. Um, you know, for me as well. <laughs> so it is my goal. It's my goal that you had an excellent learning experience with me and with this course. Um, that's been my goal from day one and for obvious reasons, right? <laughs> There's a lot on the line um, for it. But of course, uh, as an educator, um, I want you to learn as much as possible. And I hope you can see that in taking this course with me and and I'm that way in a face-to-face -face class, too. I want you to learn as much as possible, and I hope you did. So please, please, please submit a, a um, Miami University uh, course evaluation, and there is an incentive. If 90% of the class submits the formal Miami University course evaluation, every student in this class will get five extra points to their total points that's going to be factored into their final grade. So please do that. And also, I teach personal organizational skills, BTE 301, and I would love to have you be a part of that course. Um, if it fits into your degree progression plan, I would love to see you in that course in a face-to-face -face setting and be like, oh, okay, yes, I do know you digitally. Okay, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> um, okay, so I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. If there's anything whatsoever that you need, please do not hesitate to reach out to me, um, email me, text me, um, call me even if you need to. Just um, don't um, have a question and not reach out to me, okay? So, um, all right, well, I'll talk to you all later. Have a great rest of your day and a, a wonderful week ahead. If I don't tell you before the class ends, thank you so much for taking this course with me. I really do appreciate it. Um, I know you have options. You have options to wait. You have options to not take a course. You have options to take it with somebody else. And so um, I do realize that, and I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you for a great summer, and thank you for a great um, first course in Canvas. Thanks. Bye.